Hello family, this is Infinity, Archangel Gabriel, and it is 422 on June 18th, 2019. We are currently at 97.3% of our full moon, so very much in full moon energy still and will be for a few days. Uh, today's symbols are the dove and the butterfly. Uh, and this is coming to you from Moon Data on my Moon app. I think, I'm not sure that I read this day yet. So um, symbols are the dove and the butterfly. Stones are spinel, which is an amazing single refractive uh, uh, crystal. Tourmaline, um, and that would be either black tourmaline or pink tourmaline. I believe there's also blue tourmaline. Um, charite, emerald, and pearl. So bringing in that, that sea energy. Characteristics of the day, day of harmony and balance, calmness and peace moderation and comfort for health physical exercise is advisable as well as blood blood cleansing procedures eating meat is not recommended on this day or any other day by yours truly uh, meditation the moon is still in its powerful state reflecting the sun's light maximally so you can also swim along the moon glades you can meditate on being filled with the moonlight. We shall be doing that. And it says for planting on this day, moon and Capricorn, productive and dry, best for planting potatoes and tubers. Good days for grafting. So that is all from our uh, moon app that I am referring to constantly so big shout out to them if you don't have this app I highly recommend that you get it uh, and no I make no money off of that obviously okay so moving on you guys um these last few days well you know it's just been really intense no matter what but we have gotten into a um a slow down kind of state of being where this is how it usually feels after a gate and uh and also for a full moon so we have this intense energy going on back to back and still for the solstice coming up uh that is also going to be um we're still going to be very much uh feeling the energies um of this full moon so there's a lot of this really intense energy going on back to back to back uh and and that's just something to uh keep in mind um because that is just in a couple days on the 21st the summer solstice and we will be doing um getting more information and doing another meditation uh for that day as well um but that's just something to to keep in mind so we just ha we have the full moon um in the same in the same 24 hours we have the full we have the landing day of our gate and within a couple days we have the summer solstice so that is uh that's a lot and for for those of you that may not know we have um or what the solstice is it is the the longest day of the year we have the most daylight of the year um and uh that you know coming into uh or piggybacking off of a full moon you know that's just a lot of light 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 right <laughs> um and and something to 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 keep in mind uh and this full moon is 
a really big deal going forward you guys I cannot even tell you how um, important it is um, due to the to the fact of the different um, alignments that we have with it throughout the cosmos with different uh, in respects to different uh, planets and and their positions now I will tell you right now that I love astrology I've always been into it I find it really really interesting it is a science we absolutely get information from it but I'm not an astrologer that is not something that I put on my long list of titles um, <laughs> Uh, so I will refer you to uh, Pam Gregory to get um, down and deep with a lot of this information if you're so guided she's amazing I always am guided to her and uh, and if you watch her you'll see why uh, so I always get it's kind of like I get that uh, non-scientific information and I'm 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 so integrated with our um galactic and spirit tribes and you know one in the same right but our councils our uh the well the council slash command um and but in a different way that like kind of when I'm in this wake state I don't necessarily um kind of remember every single little detail and so then I'm guided to Pam and she has those details that really help me kind of fill in the blanks of what I'm feeling and information that I'm getting in in a more spiritual way but because she's also very spiritual and very connected in that way and very much talks about that uh it's the perfect um information for me so uh shout out to her she's amazing and super popular <laughs> uh so one of the things that i want to ask to talk about uh before we get into this meditation is this dynamic um this flow of go and checks and balances um, as we go and and for those of us that you know are more creative or in the healing arts or both like me who um, are just have a harder or have had a harder time with prioritization and uh, um, being focused and stay on track or even getting into any kind of thing like that or you know it's just been very very difficult um there's also been just a lot of stuff going on in the other types of energies that make that very hard so it's not like it's our fault but what's really cool about this time period and especially this amazing Sagittarius uh full moon that we're in holla to the Sages out there fellow Sages out there rising sun or moon uh, <laughs> uh what's really cool about this and where it is is that we have the balance the balance coming up and and this is something I was feeling and I was getting information on but listening to Pam and I did weeks ago when she put out this video um, of her uh, full moon video but I was just guided to listen to it again before we go into this meditation so I can round this this up for you guys and for myself um, so we have what is what could be considered opposition of cancer and Capricorn with this uh, with this full moon energy or going into the full moon and what we had in inside of the gate um, on the 14th and this is something that Pam talks about but what I want to talk about in regards to that is how cancer is about go and it's goal oriented and it wants to move quick and Capricorn is about um, 
slow a slower pace and maybe blockages or or just checks and balances is what I keep hearing and um and then the need to plan it's more about planning and when she was speaking I felt Metatron come in and he said this is the kind of energy that we've been discussing and talking about and, and quite frankly waiting for where we know we need to be more disciplined with our time and our energy and our focus and our planning and what we're doing and setting up for ourselves on a daily basis being more goal oriented um, we've kind of wanted to hop around things because it's just it's been too difficult to to nail us down in certain ways but now we're getting a much more focused and balanced um, energy coming in this month this month of June and that's what I talked about a couple days ago where we're at this tipping point where we have the the first part of the year and then we're going into the second part of the year we have the solstice coming up which like i just talked about is about is the brightest day of the year the longest um sunlight day of the year and and then um you know with this full moon too so a lot of this energy is going on at the same time we have and not coincidentally we have a lot of um, energy coming from the Sun itself just over these last few days as far as a geomagnetic radiation and flares and the coronal hole coming around and the energies that that sends so that's amplifying what we're getting as well so we have the masculine and the feminine energies coming in during this fiery uh, <laughs> um, time with the, the moon in Sagittarius because um, the Sagittarius is a mutable sign it's a fire sign so we need that passion but we also need the temperament to to like we said to be more disciplined so going forward what what we need to do is is think about um, that and and turning it into a good thing and if we feel vulnerable in any way to really figure out what that's about and use this time to your advantage to get past that sort of thing whatever it is um, if you feel you're resistant usually when we're resistant to something there's a, a much deeper meaning to that um, and most of the time we're not investigating what that is we're just feeling it and we're going with that so it's resistance ah this must be a bad thing see ya whatever it is and even if we know we have to do it or it is you know quote unquote good for us and and um, you know we will just not do something we call it procrastination but it's an energy thing there's a literal wall of energy blocking you from doing it why because you put it there you don't want to do it so and that could be for anything so um, I mean years ago my guides were like meditate and I was like no I'm terrified and I share that with people because that is uh, an understandable reaction as you ascend and you get information and you're given more information you're always given just a wee bit more than you're you know totally understanding or comfortable with and or comfortable with because that's how you grow you know if you're always getting the doses that were just on point how would you grow right so um you know pick a metaphor and apply it I don't need you to do that but um <laughs> it's important to understand that at this time we are um, we're really setting things up we're setting the foundation laying down the groundwork doing um, you know creating inventory if that's the case or uh, going over you know systems within your your daily routine or your business or what you want to start as your business or changes your business or or begin as a new healing practice or whatever it is that you have going on um, or a, 
a new um, self healing daily regimen um, something like you know things like that uh, things that have been coming into your awareness in these last several months that you're like yep gotta do that yep gonna gonna do that <laughs> gonna, gonna get on that um, have to make you know where is there time for that there hasn't been a place in my in my day or energy or whatever and if you have those things to, to think about those revisit those things and uh, so like I was saying Metatron came through came in and then uh, Metatron and Michael actually and what they want us to be aware of is this is the time um, these next few days with all this energy that I've explained is to use uh, to use the the energies that are coming up that is that is firing us up to be assertive to be willful to be um, focused to to make certain things a priority that we haven't done before to forego other things that we have been distracted with or we did make priorities and to use that to our advantage and especially in creative ways or in ways that that integrate creativity with um with nature or the animal kingdom in some way um and And this is a time when if we've been feeling like I'm I know the things that need to happen I've just been lacking the motivation and the energy to do this stuff that's what this time is all about it's all about that 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 go energy uh, and and we have had uh, we have had a push pull like I've talked about uh, what Pam talks about is contraction and expansion we have had that too um, so that push pull that contraction expansion and now we're on this expansion side of it where we're we have so much of this creator energy coming in uh, she she talks very specifically uh, about how the uh, this full moon is at 2753 degrees of Sagittarius and these are important numbers um, it definitely coded and I, I do recognize that I don't want to get off on that right now um, I have talked before about this we're looking at a 9 8 we're at the 27 the 72 the 5 and the 3 is an 8 um, and so there's a few things going on there but what's really interesting um, that I kind of forgot about from watching this video um, the first time around um, a few weeks ago was um, that this is exactly conjunct with our galactic center so this full moon is extremely powerful um, and there's another uh, um, alignment that goes on there too uh, that's I just I'm kind of missing where I wrote that down but it's about the evolution of consciousness about connecting spiritually about um, ex expanding spiritually uh, and and all of this energy right now is super super intense with um with with mother father god with gaia with uh with our moon um and is a time when we really really need to get into our heart center be be open to what is true what is real uh and and send out vibrations with our energetic bodies um at at best and full capacity as we possibly can 
Uh, and and know that this is a time when we can connect with Mother, Father, God, uh, our divine counterparts, uh, the divine creation source, however you want to see it or, or feel it or whatever. This is a time uh, when we are really guided to to do these things and make it a priority in our minds about and in our hearts and our souls and our spirits everything wake state um, and sleep state because the more that we are conscious and and targeted in that and focused in that at this time with all of these energies going on and i do very much recommend for you to watch the full moon video that pam gregory astrologer has on her channel she explains all this in a way better way than I ever could, so I'm not going to even try. <laughs> but the bottom line is for us to know is that with all of this energy and these alignments that are going on, um, this full moon alignment, and we're still, you know, in this energy. And like I've been told before, when we've been... Um, either at time or behind time when it's been a full moon or a new moon or what have you. Um, I've been told by, by my guides that w once at, whenever it is that I drop what I drop, my information that I put out is exactly when it's suitable for consumption and not before that. So, um, there has been a lot of, um, intense energies going on and we've had to get to a certain point with our moon um, and and place um, within the day uh, speaking of which it is 444 right now um, and so we're going to officially welcome in our angelics thank you so much family for being here um, numbers have definitely been um, Wow, what can I say? You know, numbers. Holy moly. Uh, as as usual, per usual, right? Um, so, let's see. Is there anything else I want to share with you before we get into this? Um, yes, here we go. So, with that being said, with all of that... Uh, with the energies of, that are going on right now, with this uh, needing to balance this go-go energy and this checks and balances energy, that prioritization, um, the focusing, we need to very consciously bring in uh, our, our brothers and and those would be, uh, aside from yours truly, to help you, of course. You can always call upon me in your meditations. Uh, that would be Metatron and, and Michael that came in today and said, you know, a reminder. We're, as a team, when it comes to this stuff, along with you, for the creativity aspect of it and the nurturing aspect of it is, is kind of my role here and the healing aspect of it and kind of boots on the ground. Um, with them, it's about, uh, <laughs> with Metatron, it's about getting in into a state of being where your your brain starts to work in a more geometric way and and you start to kind of open up to the whole uh um sacred geometry thing and you'll start to see those images more be drawn to it be drawn to draw it and work with Metatron and use that type of um, energetic influence uh, to help focus. And uh, and when and when we talk about focus, it's like okay, like having lists, having schedules. What am I gonna do? Being being more responsible for your for your time and your energy and your mission. Like we're we're we've gone through a certain amount of training that now we can start moving things forward and getting stuff into place 
um, to really move ahead in our in our places and we've shot the arrows out energetically a while ago we, we're catching up to that now so so it's kind of like it's kind of like passing the baton and you're like yeah i'm feeling this like yeah i'm getting there kind of woo kind of thing and um and it's really kind of just moving on to the to the next phase uh and at the same time okay guys this is this is important to understand that with all that being said and as we're getting more focused and we're prioritizing and we're having more of a schedule and we're we're employing the likes of metatron and then michael to help us uh energetically with shielding and guarding and giving us strength um, and me for motivation for creativity and nurturing and all that um it also comes the 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 flip side the the darker shadow side where you know the brighter you get m more things can come to distract you to cause problems or chaos or issues or whatever and you don't want to focus in on that because you'll attract it but at the same time you need to be cognizant of what is what and and it's about uh and and pam does talk about this about mastering your frequency and riding the waves that while you're doing your best to get all situated and organized and on point etc etc that there will be little landmines or big landmines to come in to disrupt you and uh and there is no right or wrong answer and how i can't and we can never say just do this and there you go in every situation you have to be the master of your own frequency and you have to see things for what they are and and not everything's going to be blatant and in your face you know there's going to be situations and stuff that come up that that um you have to recognize for what they are and they're like i said they, they can be more subtle um so and that's the only way that you're going to be able to learn to move ahead level to level is if you can fend off these things and not use so much energy and not have fluctuations in energy so much as they come up so it's really it's 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 real life training and but you have to understand what's trying to teach you and what is what's there for you um to move you forward and what's there to challenge you about moving you forward so that's a, that's a really big thing so as we go into this meditation you guys I would like you to be cognizant of a few things, of all the energy coming through that I've spoken about, of, of where we are within the tipping point of this year. Uh, hopefully you've listened to my other videos about what's coming up and what's been going on with these portals. We just had our portal landing day, so I had a, uh, on the 16th, I, I dropped a video about that. So I discussed that. Uh, and with all of this energy coming in, it being a really amazing time for us very specifically uh, connecting spiritually and connecting, and that means with Gaia, with, um, with Jesus, any ascended master that you um, may gravitate towards, so Mother Mary, or um, or Mary Magdalene, or any of the archangels, or any of the saints. Saint, you know, a lot of people gravitate towards um, Saint Germain or Saint Patrick, or <laughs> there's a lot of saints. Um, <laughs> people are um, 
that feel, feel close to. So it really, it really doesn't matter. Most, most importantly, what, what's important is that it's, it's you, that you are connecting and that you make that a priority in, in your life that you seek to connect and keep the connection open that you ask for guidance that you continue to ask for guidance and for help and you have these open lines of communication um with this meditation we're going to get into we are going to be um expanding our energetic body in a very different way yet again very similar to my last meditation and that was when we got into and activated our wings and had them expand and we were in the bathtub for that for this we are not in the bathtub um, I kind of wanted to be but <laughs> um, I was told no we're not going to be in the bathtub for this one uh, we are going to be on our floor or if we can be someplace outside that's private where you're not going to be interrupted by passers-by or you know people just walking up and talking to you if you could be someplace really private outside uh, even better barefoot even better uh, uh, if you'd somehow listen to this while you're floating in the, any kind of you know water then go for it um that it'll work it'll work that way too but uh what we're gonna do is expand our energetic body even more than we than we have and and if you've been with me for a while now we we work on this all the time we work on on our connecting and clearing and and activating our chakras and while I'm talking about this I'm just getting all tingly and warm so family do me a favor and and let's get into this at this time I'll stop my yammering at what was that 32 I can't see the whole time on that for some reason but it is 454 on the 18th we are 32 something uh, minutes into <sighs> this recording and um, I'm talking about this and I'm starting to feel it and activate so I figure let's just get into it right so hopefully we all have enough information going into this if you have any questions please comment please comment anyway at the end of your experience uh, whenever it is that you do this, uh, let my cat out, one of my cats, um, have a little bit of my tea. So do me a favor guys. And we're going to, we're going to do this meditation standing up. start taking nice slow deep breaths for me you can sway I'm gonna turn on the music a little bit louder so you just want to be uh, comfortable with your feet okay so whatever is is comfortable um, if that's with socks on because your floor is too cold or whatever then wear socks if it's barefoot then what be barefoot whatever's comfortable for you right now I would like you to be standing your feet uh, a little hips distance apart or a little wider whatever's most comfortable for you to, to be balanced so not leaning too far forward or too far back in your hips or your shoulders or your pelvis. <sighs> Shake it out for me. Close your eyes. 
Nice deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Start with your hands at your sides and when you take that deep breath in through your nose, just bring your, your hands, palms up, up with your inhale and then down with your exhale. So inhale in and then out, push that air out. And say out loud, expand, expand, expand. I just want to feel into your energetic body. Start to feel yourself activate. Feel your feet grounded to your floor or the ground. With your hands, go palms down for me. So just like your feet, they're facing palms down. Another deep breath. Just take a few deep breaths, no rush here. Just get nice and centered with your body, with your energy. Feel it. Tell your body to activate with your energetic body, your physical body, your spiritual body. We're going to get into meditation. We're going to go astral. So get your body ready. Start feeling into that. If you're feeling tingly, you're starting to activate. Just breathe into it. Start getting warm. Feel the energy all around you. Feel the pressure on the top of your head, in your eye sockets, getting into your third eye now. Feel that. So it could be pressure right inside your skull. It's okay. You can feel a little uh, invasive sometimes, but just breathe into it. There you go. And then I want you to think about your root chakra as your third eye is activating your root chakra, your red colored energy center down at the very base of your spine. We're going to light that up. We're going to get that energy in balance with the energy that we're feeling in our third eye and our head right there between our eyes and feeling pressure on our eyes. Just feel into that and then feel all the way down to your root chakra. Again, nice and firm and steady and balanced on your feet. Palms together at Namaste, right there at your, the center of your chest. I center myself, I balance myself. I control my energy. And then I want you to imagine this nice bright white light starting from your third eye and just dropping down to the center to your solar plexus and then the same bright white light starting at your root chakra and going up to your solar plexus and put energy and to sending down this beautiful white light just directly into your solar plexus from from your root chakra up and from your 
third eye down and then feel the energy start to expand up and out and into your crown chakra and you'll actually feel that once that starts to activate you'll feel it kind of mushroom out above your head it won't stay in your scalp like your third eye energy will it'll open up and expand and it will feel very much um, halo like that is where that crown chakra um, and that depiction of that energy for those who can see auras for those of us who have our crown chakras all lit up they can see that halo so imagine that feel that when it starts to activate and we're going all the way from our third eye down to our solar so we're immediately activating our throat and our heart chakras and down to our solar and then as we're going up we're activating our our sacral up into our solar as well and i want you to after a few beats of feeling this energy going down and going up and meeting in the center and radiating out so that's what i want you to do want you at the same time imagine it going down and up and meeting in the center and radiating out and feel that in a beat of energy and pulsate out your energy going down and going up and meeting in the center and pulsating out you can use your hands for emphasis to push out the energy So do this a couple times and just feel that meeting in the center. Remember, we want to be in balance. It's what it's all about. It's what creation is all about. It's what Mother, Father, God is all about. That's what all of these different points in time is all about. It's to help us get into balance and stay there that's the hard part we can get into balance but it, we can slip right up or down and it's difficult to stay there all of the time mastering your frequency remember this so with the intention of being and staying and living in balance and flow and peace and harmony and faith and trust and love all of the time at this time we want to formally thank you for being here I thank my beautiful brothers and sisters for being just so amazing <laughs> for always being here for me for delivering the most beautiful gifts to me all of the time I do feel your love and I feel so honored and blessed to be here in this moment to share our divine soul family union with all of creation. Please be with all participants at this time. I'm calling upon our spirit council galactic command. Every day we are here, we are growing and evolving, we are activating, we are changing in our structure on a molecular level. We are activating our crystalline DNA more and more. We're working in astral with our divine counterparts and we're doing that more and more and becoming 
more and more aware. We are noticing things differently. Everything is a little bit different. We are changing and so is our beloved Gaia, our Mother Earth, she who holds us every single moment of every single day. She who shows us creation, always. to remind us and know it's a difficult concept to understand but please work on it the concept of there really are no endings only beginnings physical body and they're called wings because they're where they really are your wings and you can tap into what they look like and feel like and I do that meditation so please watch that so if you're just feeling the tingle or if they're all the way unfurled I want you to really feel into your wings right now I want you to breathe into that and send your energy to your heart chakra, up into and into your back, into your shoulder blades, that rhomboid area, and feel the energy expanding out 
and just let them go with whatever is natural at this time. Uh, it, they may feel or look or And, and and even feel and weight or the energy might be a little different than before. They can change. So just observe. Just let the energy flow. You also feel the tingles down your arms and through your hands and into your hand chakras right there in the center of your palms and down through your back into your hips, your pelvis, all the way down. I want you to really feel that energy going down, 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 all the way down your legs, your knees, down your, your butt, backs of your thighs, all the way down. Deep breath for me. All the way down so energy going all the way down to your feet and just let that energy permeate into your floor and, and just let it drop down into the earth just visualize it going down as far as it may need to go just instantaneously being at ground level boom at ground level and going down just seeping into Gaia as the water would. So if you are watering the ground with your energy and just wash it, watch it go down into Gaia. your attention back to your energetic body to your wings expanding out they react when you move you can feel them they're an extension of you and your energy with your wings open it is easier to feel your own energy and that of everything else and the more you do this the better you'll understand you'll feel your wings react in very spontaneous ways before you can mentally understand things sometimes but you'll begin to associate and understand things through the energy your energetic body reacting and you being able to feel it more so the more that you work in this way with your wings and expand your energy out. Don't be afraid to expand your energy. Even if we're, we want to be cognizant of shielding ourselves from intruders or negative energy, we, we want to maintain the balance of expansion. So please, if you've gotten or seen or been given the message in any way that you want to close off your energy in any way, Please let that go because that is separation and that is a message that is a, um, it's called landmine of the dark that they plant for people to believe and for people to do thinking that it'll make them invisible to the dark so they won't deal with stuff and that just isn't true. The dark has been aware of you long before you were aware of you and you thinking you can shield yourself from their knowledge of you is kind of silly, actually.
you're not going to get any stronger with your energy and your magics and your alchemy and your manifestations and your abilities to um, know things and see things and foresee things and heal things and move things and shape things to the best of your ability if you're closing off your energy. The trick is, is to be guarded and shielded while expanding, expansion and balance. Exactly what this full moon is about. So as we feel into our wings, I want you to take and focus in on your chakras, all of them. Think about your chakras and your feet. What color are they? There you go. And think about the chakras of your hands and what color are they? There you go. And then think about all the other chakras, your root chakra, your sacral, your solar, your heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown, and the many beyond. Think about your wings. Think about your energetic body. Think about it coming into alignment with your physical body. Your physical body not being in resistance of your energetic body and how big and great and powerful it is. How desperately it wants to keep us in balance in our physical body. The least resistance we have to that, the better. The more in balance we want to be. The flow, the connection, balance, the peace, the harmony, the more we ride the wave of faith in our own skin, in our own bodies, in our own energy. safe and strong and expanding that, using our own power, opening up, becoming dynamic. Expanding out into quantum. we can walk between the worlds and see them and hear them and feel them and understand how connected we truly are. And so now, family, what I would like you to do is feel into your root chakra, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus chakra. And just feel the energy bouncing in that and in those energy centers and much like what we did with our wings and feeling that energy and moving that energy I want you to think of those beautiful colors of red of orange of yellow all of the things that, that you know in creation that are of these colors. From flowers to fire. From lava to sunsets. Bring in and pull in that energy. And then I want you to push it to the back of your body. into the base of your spine and I want
want you to imagine your energetic tail because yes we do have tails energetic tails just like energetic wings very much like the fae and like many animals do so do we however it's in our energetic body, not our physical body. So what is important to do is to center that energy and with intention, let it know that it can leave the physical body and start to expand out and start to feel into that and push that energy out exactly where a tail would come out at the base of your spine an extension of your spine but it's energetic it is another amazing way that we can connect and ground with Gaia and anything else for that matter and anyone else. I will tell you right now, family, do not encroach your tail energy in anybody's space without acknowledgement on the other person's or thing's part. Use your understanding of what is right and wrong with your energy to not encroach upon others. Same with your wings. They are your tools and yours to use and yours to touch others with in energetic and intimate ways. In times like these, when we are expanding in astral, when we are working with each other, but never to cause anybody discomfort or harm or to be uncomfortable. You'll find that the energy will soon dissipate anyhow and you will not be able to do it for very long. So I ask that you please don't ever do that and stay on the light path. So with that said family, feel into your tail. go further further down towards the ground with each inhale and exhale letting it drop further and further let it touch and feel the ground the energy drop from your energetic tail down into Gaia. And feel it connecting with Gaia's energy. Sending that wave of energy up through your tail into your energetic body, 
through your spine and all your chakras and through your wings, your arms, your legs, everything. Connecting on another level energetically with Gaia. up your bodies, connect, just feel that energy flowing from top to bottom, down, all of your chakras like this beautiful energetic rainbow filled and colored waterfall of energy just going all the way down, 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 melting, 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 not only into your feet and connecting and grounding with Gaia through your feet, but also your tail. And feel that energy flowing and going down. Holding on. And expanding with Gaia. Connecting with her energetic body. From this point forward, may you, my dear ones, witness and feel creation, nature. All of life and all of its wonder as you connect with me. I connect with you. My dear ones, this is a time for you to bring in the feelings of unity as always, to call your brothers and sisters to the table, to sit at their bedsides as they awaken, to share with them information that you have gathered to help them on their journey. At this time, it is so important for you to witness creation so you too may create. hope for you connecting in this way another level with your wings now your tail with me like so many of your animal kingdom counterparts upon me that you walk with every step more in tune with yourself that you start there from this moment forward to understand yourself energetically and physically and spiritually to call on us divine beings and to be with me your mother as much as possible and also with me in the moonlight especially at these times please make it a priority to go outside sit or walk in the moonlight
connect with your tail with me. Begin working more vigorously with yourself. You do not need anyone else not to spark your fire that must come from within. you, to give you the tools be tricked and fooled and deceived into fears and in places that you need not go. We need you focused. We do need you to master your frequency. And no, none of us think that is easy. Especially me, dear ones. Yet, no one can do it for you. At the same time, we are all here for you, to help you do just that. The more you do that, the more readily available you are to others. those times are upon us, these next few cycles of my beloved moon, my light on you in the dark always, through all phases, that's what we're working on all together in these next few cycles and leading into our new year. And this is why we are here to share these informations with you. So I want to thank you, my dear, sweet, beautiful ones, on this day and at this time for being here with us all, whatever day and time it may be for you. It does not matter. Your energy and your connecting with me is what matters. I love you so very much.
I know that when you do this, you're going to be very tingly. And in fact, as you connect with your tail and your legs and everything starts to kind of merge, it may even be difficult to stand after a while. So we will be wrapping this up soon. If you're still in this space and feeling really good about this and, and want to reconnect, you can do that anytime, of course. You are encouraged to continue to work with your energetic body in these ways. Again, practice with your wings and your tail and always having them there for you. And yes, of course, there will be a time when you will have people that you can work with your energetic body in that way with as well, whether that is in person or not. But no, once you tap in like this with your energetic body, it is always going to be activated. This is another level of consciousness with your energetic body enabling you to activate your spiritual body, your physical body. And what's really important at this time, family, again, is to know that working like this definitely connects you to higher realms of creation, dimensions and beings, and your channel to them can definitely get stronger in this way, especially with our mother Gaia, the elementals and the fae. Go as guided. So with that said family, going to be feeling back all through our systems, our physical body, our feet on the ground, our hands, our head, our shoulders. Feel that energy, those energy centers just radiating out through, through the back there to your tailbone area, out where your tail is, spend time visualizing your tail, an extension of your energetic body, subtle information coming to you always through your energetic body as it expands out, as you connect with your wings and your tail, the chakras in your hands and your feet, as you're more conscious to connect with Gaia and have conversations with our divine counterparts, our spirit tribe, your guides and guardians, your protectors, whomever you feel comfortable talking to. So hands and namaste for me, family, at your chest. Deep breath. Again, I want to thank you for being here with me at this very pivotal time in creation for working with us all. For you, our spirit tribe. Our brothers and sisters on the other side. Spirit and Galactic Command and Council. Thank you for guiding and putting me in this space always to connect with you and to bring messages to our brothers and sisters here upon Gaia. 
I am always so blessed and more and more so every single day. Thank you all for being here. Please spend time in this energy and thinking about radiating out your soul song through Gaia, through every part of her, through your feet and your tail and your wings, your whole energetic body that we all connect, that we meet on mission, that we come together. In divine, divine right timing. And that we continue to heal and be healed. And I love you all so much. When you're ready, you may open your eyes, you can sit down, you can lay down, take a nap, Just spend some time feeling this energy. Infinite love and blessings, family. Don't forget the key is to create, and I love you already.